PMAC Movies back yet again for another PMAC Movies haul video here. It is Monday afternoon, Monday, November 6th. Um, a little chilly out, but not too bad. Uh, sunny. Not not a bad day at all. Uh, maybe a little bit more breezy than we would like, but that's the how the weather tends to be around here. Got a haul. Um from just a couple companies here. Haven't opened the boxes yet. We have one from Ronin Flix, which there's quite a few items in this because they were actually having a really awesome sale where if you bought, they were already a lot of them marked down to 10 bucks. And if you bought five, it would be half off. So $5 for items that I'd paid like triple that for some of some of these before so I was like oh my gosh I should have waited baby but you don't know you never know and uh, some of the stuff I bought in previous sales might be out of print or whatever too so you don't really know um but yeah I've spent like 15 on some that were five in this sale but uh got some got some really cool stuff in there some stuff I already have on blu-ray I got better editions because it was so cheap and with a slip cover so we'll take a look at that but what I'm going to show first is my indicator haul, which I usually will spend enough to get free shipping, which is 200 pounds, which is a lot of money. Let's say $250 or something like that. I mean, yeah, prob probably is something like that. But there just wasn't enough for me to get. Um, they have a reward system. And the reward system is ending, I believe, at the end of this year. So I had $20 in, I think it was actually over $20 in rewards. The shipping was over, or this was pounds actually, over 20 pounds in rewards. And the shipping was just a little bit less than that. I think um, I might have had 23 pounds in rewards and the shipping might have been 21 pounds. So I was like, I might as well get a couple sale items and use this reward money. Um, the issue, actually, th and thinking about it a little bit, the next sale, I could very well not have enough to get to the 200 again because I bought these. But these could also go out of print. Although, what is the second one? I can't even remember exactly what I... I remember one of them. I don't remember both of them. We are going to open this baby up from the UK. They usually do a very good job of shipping. Um, I would say this box looks like it's it's pretty large. Um, for what I got, I just got two items. One is a box set. I'm trying to remember what the other one I even got was. They were both on sale. Seems like the quality of their movies, they're releasing a lot of like uh, these like vampire movies and stuff that, that Kino has put out. So probably much better, nicer editions of those, but they're, they're pretty pricey at this point until they do hit a sale. And then maybe you do beer yourself. So that's what we got in here. And they put like a flyer there on top with some of their newer items. So that's interesting to look through. And then they do have both items also in, in uh, bubbles here. Ah, that's the other one I got. Yeah, it's kind of a cool one. So like, I have a lot of indicator stuff and... Um, a lot of it I haven't watched. What I don't like is they don't have plot summaries on the back. So when I'm trying to choose a movie, it's nice to be able to just look at the back and read the plot synopsis, which I can't do for these. All right, so uh, first time each of these movies was part of the sale. So I got one single edition, which may have gotten a U.S. release, too. I don't know. And then one of their um, box sets. 
So we'll take a look first at the box set. It is Universal Noir Volume 1. So I have several of their Noir volumes, I think, everyone up until this point. Columbia Noir 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, with I believe 5 being the Humphrey Bogart one. And then we have um, Universal Noir number 1 with The Web, Abandoned, Larceny, Deported, Kiss the Blood Off My Hands, and Naked Alibi here on Blu-ray. We got some Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster is in Kiss the Blood Off My Hands. Just taking a look at some of the other ones. Uh, I got number 3,703 of 6,000. And I believe this was 30 something dollars. It was under $40. Um, does it say on this? I doubt it. No, it doesn't. And then the other one, um, we have Richard Widmark in Death of a Gunfighter, which looked very familiar to me, but I think I looked it up and I don't believe this has a U.S. Blu-ray. So this was the only other one that I wanted out of their newly 50% off items because I had already gotten all the ones... Or it's not 50% off. It's not a 50% off sale. So it's a, it's the first time these have been on sale. I have all the other ones that I've wanted that were on sale previously. So I was only looking at the newer stuff. And I'm like, can I come up with an order for 200 pounds? And it just wasn't gonna, it just wasn't gonna happen. I was gonna be buying a bunch of stuff I didn't want. Up next, the big order, baby. Ronin Flicks. I was shocked, shocked at how cheap this stuff was. Because their last sale like this, like I said before, I was paying, I was thinking I was getting a good deal on stuff that was like 10 bucks, and I was like, I'll splurge and spend 15. You know, might sell out if I don't get it. But now, it's part of this sale where you can get it. For only 10 bucks. So they just filled this box up. Hopefully there's enough padding and whatnot to secure the items. So we'll put this down here and pull them out one by one. Up first. Um, this is a movie that I do have on DVD. Um, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was anything spectacular. But I thought for $5 with the slipcover, you don't want to pass on stuff that's very cheap and then kick yourself. Um, and I mean, it's something that I'll uh, almost certainly be able to get my money back if I want to. And it wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't, uh, you know, necessarily my cup of tea. It is Haunt here with Slippy Dippy. There was like a nice version of this too. I really don't need like an expensive version of that movie. Even just having it with the slipcover is uh, pretty impressive there. Up next, um, we got a Oliver Reed movie called Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hype. I really know very little about it. Um, for $5, I went ahead and snagged it. It's from 1980. It is 98 minutes. Snaggy. Another slipcover edition. This is a uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, which, I, like I've said before, I have it in a uh, another Blu-ray. I figured if I can get this for, you know, $5, I don't want to kick myself for not getting it. It's going to go out of print. Will it get a 4K at some point? Maybe. It is Death Warrant here on uh, Blu-ray. So this is like the nice remastered Scorpion releasing Blu-ray with the slipcover. For $5, how can you say no? PMAC movies obviously can't. Um, then we got some Tom Berenger here. Is a priest? Is he a priest in this? It is um, Last Rites. Again, one that previous sales, maybe this was around $10. And I was like, eh, nah, eh, not quite doing it for me. But at $5, you must beer. You must. 
Um, this is one that, again, I, I had looked at in previous sales, and it just didn't sound like that good of a movie, but I figured for five bucks, let's do it, baby. It is Land of Doom here on Blu-ray. I have a lot of these uh, kind of Mad Max ripoff type of movies. Who knows if any of them are good. Um, another uh, action movie that I do have in a set um like an mgm set and i wasn't gonna get it and i'm like for five bucks with the slip cover for a nice edition i must do it and it's one of chuck norris's best movies it is lone wolf mcquade also starring david carradine i like that cover that's pretty nice pretty bad it's five bucks for that that is awesome up next uh, this is one I have passed on many times because it sounds like a pretty trashy movie. But for five bucks with the slipcover, I could say no, no more. It is Robot Holocaust. Five bucks with the slipcover. We got a bunch more left, including uh, another movie. I had seen this, it was, you know... Over $10 and stuff in the past. And now for $5, I figured I would get Opposing Force here. Tom Skerritt's in this. Very nice. Looks like some sort of military mission or something um, going on here. We got a little Tom Skerritt. Glad to be able to get that for 5 bucks. Now, this is one of the better ones. Unfortunately, it does have a loose Blu-ray. Um, that is not good. We have Nick Nolte and Michael Moriarty in Who Will Stop the Rain? Now, a lot of times Blu-rays are good about not getting scratched when they're loose, but um, definitely concerning. I'll stick to the end and we'll open that up. I want to get through the rest of these. This was the one I was probably most excited about. James Kahn and Robert Duvall in a Sam Peckinpah film. I was I couldn't believe that this was ten dollars and half off. It is the Killer Elite here on Blu-ray. We had the Jason Statham. I don't know if it, if it was considered a remake or what, but this is from 1975, 124 minutes. I couldn't believe that I was able to get that so affordable. We have uh, David Carradine again, and not a big, like, war movie person and stuff, but P.O.W. The Escape. Again, for five bucks, you beer. You beer, and then you ask questions later. The P.M.A.C. way. Uh, another, uh, one that I knew nothing about, but it looked like it was fairly highly regarded. It is a small town in Texas here on Blu-ray for five bucks. These were all five bucks. Another loose disc. Uh-oh. Um, this is uh, one that I kind of added to the order. Not necessarily my type of movie, but it's actually supposed to be a pretty good movie. It is Youngblood here on Blu-ray. And then do we have another Chuck Norris? Yes, we have another Chuck Norris. We have the Delta Force 2K scan with slipcover. Um, I'll still probably keep the MGM ones. They got you know, multi-movie sets and whatnot. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, this one too. Another James Caan movie. This The slipcover on this one got a little, little dented in the corner. This is one that I do have the uh, Twilight time for, which I paid probably triple this. So I'll probably be looking to get rid of my Twilight time one. But it is James Caan in Rollerball. This also has a 4K from Shout Factory, that does not have a slipcover. So for $5, I will certainly take this 4K scan Blu-ray with slipcover. Very nice. Yeah, this one was like on the bottom. You know, the slipcover ones, it, you know, they, it would be nice if they put them in the middle rather than on the bottom. But what can you do? Uh, overall, this was uh, quite good besides the two that have the loose discs. So that's everything that I got here in this haul. 
let's take a look at these loose discs and hope hope that they're not scratched especially the uh who will stop the what is it who will stop the rain that was one of the ones i was most excited about take a look at young blood here two loose discs not uh, not that isn't good um can't tell if that's a scratch or not i'd have to take a cloth to it looks like something that might wipe off and it's very very light so i don't really see anything this the lighting is um tricky in here as far as seeing i see something on the disc but it seems like it might be something that that wipes out so i'd have to kind of take a closer look at that one and then we have this nick nolte movie can i open it without This is just, this is pure PMAC Movies Entertainment, watching PMAC trying to, to open this. Usually you can pull them right there and it'll pull right apart. I wasn't able to grip it enough with my fingernail. How to open a slip-covered Blu-ray in shrink wrap on PMAC Movies. Or how not to. All right, so we're getting in here. The disc is moving around in there. It's going to cause Nick Nolte to drink. Nick, it's okay. It's just a Blu-ray. Okay, so we got the slip cover off. Poor thing. Poor thing just in there getting all whipped around um again this one looks like it might have gotten gotten it a little bit more than the other one but it, initially it looked like things that would not wipe off but it looks like it might be just wiping off the uh marks that were on it so they, they appeared it appeared to have scratches on it but I don't know that it really does because I wiped it and it looks like it's it's wiping off so looks like we're good hopefully I'll have to take like a uh I take like an old cotton t-shirt and uh and and wipe it you know you breathe on it a little bit and, and we'll take a look so that was a really an excellent sale from from Ronin Flix um so I was I was pretty impressed by that I couldn't believe some of the stuff that was five bucks like the killer elite like who will stop the rain because I think those were probably about 15 during previous sales and um I think it's called dogs of war I bought that for 15 bucks not that long ago, and it was five. You could get it for five bucks in this sale. That's a beer me, baby. That is a beer me and a half. But I do have to finish up, go play with Layla, so we will see you next time on PMAG Movies.